What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Napoleon Total War. Let's play as Great Britain. Sort of round off where we left off. Um, we have various troops positioned near Prussian territory, and we have an opportunity to intercept a Prussian army. And because I think it's an interception rather than a ambush, um, it will be a normal fight. But they will be the attackers. So let's do it. We are being given an opportunity. Uh, cut up a large amount of Prussian troops. So what's not to like about that? When attacking an enemy with superior missile troops, generally get into melee combat as quickly as possible. I can believe it. Absolutely can believe it. Oh, damn this weather, sir. Okay, so I think I'm more like, as they're on the offensive, let's take advantage of that. Take advantage of it and then let's do something like this or well, not like that like this although this is probably a wet powder makes this files a certain death you know what so what I think is the territory here is a bit, my, the position here is a bit bad, sat back, but you know where it isn't, this central ridge. The central ridge will give us an opportunity, but we have to move fast if we're going to secure it. So let's take, oh, these are grenadiers, I keep thinking they're light. So, take some Brunswickers and two units of Swiss Grenadiers. You guys can cover the left flank, and we'll give you two units of light foot to skirmish up ahead. These guys can have two units of infantry with a light foot to skirmish up ahead, and I'm probably going to put my cavalry on this flank, general in the centre, out to. You are deployed. Yeah, you are good. Howitzer in the middle. Oh, come on. Just these guys. That flank sorted in a very slow way. I may even deploy a unit of guns up here. Get them a bit close to the action. You guys, that was... You guys just end up deploying so like that. Maybe not. Maybe it is. There's a funky effect going here. Push out my howitzer. You guys all run. You can be bombarded. Send my. Actually, no, too much. You may as well walk. They're not running up. And you're still being shot at, so. Speed up time is not really a lot we can do until we bring our artillery into bear. Except for take the damage and smile. I suppose we can count ourselves fortunate that they aren't actually engaging our artillery. To 
to be honest, these guys are in such a position that once they get into position, I can advance up my. Ooh. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. So let's take damn near everyone else. And do something like that. And you guys barrage to get some gun them down. Still off to my general. Then I move one unit of guard dragoons. See this. Poor old Lance. Poor, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Form square. You guys retreat back. You guys may as well move up. Our men are running for yeah, I would too. It's a whole bunch of guys with really big pointy sticks. Let's knock you guys into square too. Cavalry back, let's hit the hussars. You guys beeline straight for their cavalry that's now their artillery that's now exposed. These guys are starting to get lots of fire poured on them. Pull them out of range. Last unit that's currently unlimbered. Well, that, well, yeah, that's currently limbered or unlimbered. I think it's limbered is the terminology. Kill them enough so they don't come back. Do skirmish mode. These guys are probably going to have a bit of a torrid time on this flank. Should have beat eight. Eight cavalry. And they can. So let's go hit that cavalry unit right on the flank. Start to push up. Mm 
good. They are now gone. Everyone else can just open fire on them. Waving troops that are about to be destroyed by my cavalry, by my lovely, lovely, lovely dragoons. God, this unit of Swiss grenadiers has taken a real hammer in. These guys are running the gauntlet. Their general is this unit. There it is, General Staff. Keep chasing down that foot unit, may as well. Offensive. Don't have to worry so much about killing everything, but if I can, that would be nice. Still firing cannons to shot. Come on, let's get Dreiberg over here and involved in some of the slaughter himself. Let's promptly get these chaps out of it. Chase down the musketeers. And let's get the Dreiberg involved get some kills under his belt because I would not think this battle will last for much longer so right now Dreiberg has no has no actual experience chevrons himself we need to fix that and he can cut down the beaten men in his attempt to get experience I think that's Let's continue. Chase down the Swiss Grenadiers and let's just halt fire all artillery. And my light infantry is still seeing off a bunch of units. So I may actually preemptively send them. No, not you. No, they're going to rout. I mean, they're going to leave the field, and I know these guys are going to leave the field, but you know, at least I can properly destroy units Swiss grenadiers, then properly, probably not get to these guys in time. So you've got a got a, a chevron on him, which probably makes him a bit better, at least maybe in morale. Okay, let's set him to re-engage. Five men. Four, two, one. 
The last grenadier. Got him. Chop. Eating that army. Because we know there is an army in the trees. I mean, yes, let's do that. I mean, I lost more men than I probably would if I fought that myself. So let's not fall into the same trap. Aha! Now I see your position, sir. Oh, okay, they're, they're laying siege. Okay, I'm not going to forget that. No way, Jose. I know exactly where their stack is because they've reinforced it while it's been hidden. Absolutely don't do that. Ooh, and he's fought. He's attacked the rear. Okay. Death's head. Ooh, proper death's head is ours. Cool. Well, let's fight this. This is going to be a bit of a, a tricky one. Because troops is attacking straight ahead. We'll be in the city. In Berlin. Um, but we do have a not inconsiderable force to rear to also engage. So we need to be tricky. Okay, so yeah, so we're all set up and we're like, ah, they're over there. So let's set up... Okay, let's set up two units of artillery like so, to bombard their position. And probably put a not inconsiderate, not inconsiderable formation in response to cover, to anchor that, that flank, and let's probably put chaps like this to cover here. Now, so if I just preemptively do something like this because I don't know exactly where they're going to come from so I'm probably going to want to cover my bases okay they're on our extreme flank which isn't great which probably ends up meaning I have to abandon these defences Absolutely run. Absolutely run, I said. You get over here. You all get over here. Where are they? There they are. Well, okay, it's exactly not what I wanted you guys to do. You guys hit them. You guys. You can't form square. Drag them into the square. You can't form a square for some weird reason. No. Aim at them. That's what I want. Because look, they're just killing their own dudes. Poloi slightly down the hill to try and allow this artillery to get into a useful position. And then let's pick these chaps. Try get into a useful firing position. Okay, will you engage them? So who are you? These are fusiliers. Okay, these guys are engaging, and they are moving up. A 
and Limba. Let's provide fire. This is the Berlin garrison that's coming in on the field. Barrage and pound the heck out of them. To be honest, I probably won't shift this artillery battery, the killer demon artillery battery of death. Let's pull these guys back so they can both try and join this battle against this fusilier unit. Good, you are actually getting ready to engage. Blast them with canister shot, because you are in range for that. This is non-ideal, non-ideal at all. Let's begin a bit of a phased retreat to get my troops to still have a bit of strategic depth to them. a bunch of my own guys. There you go, at the very least we are grouping their formations together. This massive cluster of, cluster of Prussian troops which is absolutely asking to bayonet charge me. One more volley in you. Okay, a couple of retreats, that's good. Keep pounding their formation and hopefully they will keep retreating. They may withdraw, but it will give me a chance to have my troops reorganise and provide more fire. Oh, they have hit my guns, but they're falling back. Get back to manning your guns. Engage them with canister shot at point blank range. Canister shot, hit the land there. So now we have to move out of this formation because these guys aren't really doing anything. But this is where the battle will be decided. They are routing, but these guys aren't. They are. Back you go.
Keep your muskets firing, men. Holy moly. Forcing them back on morale alone. Okay, so let's send one of my... Let's send two foot units up here, because I don't really need all of these guys back here. Again, another charge coming in. But this Lanvay garrison is 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 eager. Come on, men of the fifth. Oh no. With the, with the Death's Head Hussars comes the dissolution of sense. Combat has been joined. Rally and inspire your men. gun crews I believe let's get my dragoons in to try plug the hole let's throw you guys in on the shoulder of this attack you guys continue to engage that Prussian unit you guys move up take the ground it's understandable that you guys have routed you can't really do much because you can't form square. Our men are running for. Yeah, they're a light foot unit that weren't planning on engaging at that close distance. They're being shot on the flank, so you spin around, you grab your bayonets, charge down the hill. You will fly with your artillery. Lost a lot of men from the 35th Regiment of Foot, but the 28th is helping gradually pull those men off of their saddles, and let's also throw you into the mix, and then let's make you run up here and smash into this artillery. Because I believe beyond... where are you? There you are. The Death's Head Hussars... You are steady and confident, however, your fleet is lost and your friends on the sanctuary moon will not survive. Chop them down. All of you, grab your bayonets and charge. Don't walk. Charge in, man. Scream for blood. 
I think I'm probably going to triple speed because it's just these gunners left. Let's see if they get a, a blast off into my men. Oh god, through the bushes and a huge... Oh god. Oh god! Oh, wow! God knows how many of those... How many guys those are getting up. I don't know how many of those men lived through that. Great success. They tried to break us, but it did not work. Victory for Michael Stowell and his army is battered. We will prevail. And I think that leaves the road open for Brus for attacking uh, the capital. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. No. Withdraw. Schneider. Schneidler, withdraw. <laughs> they can, they cannot hope. Okay, so what's going to happen is are they going to be sneaky sneaks? They're probably going to do some raiding. Yeah. Okay. So they uh, bad idea. You've pulled all the way back to Fris to Frisia, where my stack is waiting. No. Um, so they offered to join my war against the Prussians. I don't want them to. So these guys can take Bartolomeus Schmidt. Take him out. Get back to Oldenburg. Okay, so they've managed to. Henrik Schneidler's managed to protect. He's managed to protect Berlin for a turn. You guys. Oh no, I can't. Okay. So I can't pass through. Okay, because because the city is not yet being sieged, I can't move Michael Stowell to freedom because I can't break the borders of mecklenburg strelitz But what if I ask for military access is a symbol of trust between two nations and can be granted for a limited or So let's stop for you four grand. Requests for access between allied nations are more likely to be approved. He can flee. The next turn he can be picked up by the ships. You are currently not being supplied, but you are going to take the bridge. Or do I just move up and attack the city anyway? No, I want to wait. I want to wait. So I know they're in here. So if I do something like this... Ah, oh, damn. I was hoping they'd let me sneaky sneak around and I might be able to move around. I thought maybe the zone might be manageable. It is not, so this might be a chance for some Prussian Moogaloo uh, in revenge. Um, however, looking at the timer, I believe it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play.